A new report from the United Nations says saving the world's glaciers is effectively a lost cause. The annual State of the Global Climate Report found climate change indicators again hit record highs last year. Now, the report says Antarctic ice fell to its lowest level on record, and melting for some European glaciers was, quote, off the charts. Meanwhile, a CBS News poll found most Americans think climate change needs to be addressed soon, with more than half of respondents saying the issue needs to be addressed immediately. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Zhang joins us now. Weijia, it's great to see you. Let's talk more about this CBS News poll. What did it find about who prioritizes climate change and who doesn't? Well, the poll found that the breakdown really depends on a couple things: the political affiliation as well as age. You can see that 91 percent of Democrats um, who believe climate change should be addressed right now uh, or in the next few years. 91 percent of Democrats think that, along with 64 percent of independents and 44 percent of Republicans. And when you look at the age of those respondents, too, um, you know, the biggest group, 45 percent, um, lies between 30 and 40 four years old. And then you have 39% uh, of 18 and 29 year olds think so, and 38% uh, of 45 and 64 year olds. And what's interesting is that only 27% of those polled uh, who are 65 years old and over believe that um, this is a, a real pressing issue. So I think that's really telling about, you know, where uh, people uh, stand on this, and it's not necessarily surprising. There are dozens of Republicans in office right now on Capitol Hill, members of Congress, who believe that uh, climate change is a hoax, that it's not real. And so the fact that there is this divide among um, Republicans and Democrats on this issue is expected, really. Yeah, and it is interesting to see those generational differences, too, as you pointed out. Remind us, Weijia, what the Biden administration is doing to address climate change and what this poll found about the economic impact of reducing climate change? Well, the poll um, really gauged how people feel that climate change uh, will have on the economy. And so it shows that 41 percent of people believe that um, reducing climate change, that those efforts will help the economy. 31 percent believe that it will hurt the economy. And then 28 percent believe that there's not much impact at all. The Biden administration certainly uh, believes that this is a real um, issue and that is linked directly to the economy. I mean, when you look at the president's uh, pieces of legislation that have already been passed into law, including the Inflation Reduction Act and the Infrastructure Act, um, we know that that includes 500 uh, billion, I'm sorry, five billion dollars to build 500,000 highway chargers as one example for electric vehicles. It includes another 2.5 billion dollars um, for chargers for communities. There are also tax credits for people who purchase electric vehicles. There's a new proposal on the table to try to uh, reduce the number of traditional vehicles and make all um, cars, uh, electrical vehicles faster. And so in addition to that, the president is really trying to uh, make the U.S. a leader on the world stage about this. In fact, he just met with um, several world leaders yesterday to talk specifically about climate change and announce that the uh, U.S. was contributing another billion dollars for uh, to fight climate change around the world, in addition to money that is very specific to Brazil to try to get a handle on the deforestation there. So um, in terms of uh, the numbers, the administration is certainly putting the money where its mouth is, uh, and the speaking points are very clear that they want to reduce emissions because they believe this is not only um, an economic issue, but also a moral issue that the president has spoken at length about to preserve uh, the world that we know it for future generations. Yes, we know young people especially are particularly energized when it comes to that issue. We did Jang at the White House. We do thank you so much. You're welcome.